was uh, looking for a compass that Frisco gave me when we were kids. Here, take mine. You sure? Oh, at least I know part of me is going with you. Wow. Oh, that's guys for you. Women would just ask directions. That's no fun. So how long is your flight? It's forever, with a seven-hour layover in Athens. Yeah, the Acropolis at dawn. The what? That's just a lifelong dream I've had. Well, I hope it doesn't disappoint. I mean, the air pollution's been attacking it for years. It's still the source of Western civilization, the seed of structured thought and pure wisdom. Well, maybe one of us will have a dream or two realized on this trip. Speaking of wisdom, make sure you keep your head down and your eyes open. Take care of her. I will. And I will take good care of Tony. You don't have to. I got a compass from Mac here. It's a show on the road, all right? I'll get the bags. I'll meet you outside. Thanks. Anything I can do to make you more comfortable? Shorten the flight by five hours. <laughs> now, I, I want you to drink lots of water on this trip and get up and walk around the cabin every 30 minutes for your circulation. I still think we should have flown first class, too, because now you can't put your feet up. <laughs> your oh. husband is very attentive. He's not my husband. It's not my baby. Oh. <laughs> you think we should have explained it to mm, her? Nope, let her guess. Who is this Tony Jones, eminent neurosurgeon and all-around straight arrow? Uh-uh. I left him at home. He bores me. This is going to be a very interesting trip. Possibly. You're thinking about Frisco, aren't you? It should be pretty easy to locate him if he's in between jobs, like Sean says. Please don't try to second guess how he's going to react, though. I know him, Tony. Maybe he'll surprise you. Maybe he'll hate me for putting him through this decision all over again. It was really hard with Maxie. He's a free spirit. People change. I don't imagine him any different. And like you, he just wouldn't be the man that I love. Well, gee, thanks. That makes me feel so good. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for it to sound <laughs> like that. I know what you mean. Would you listen to me for a second? Frisco has never in his life done anything that he didn't want to do. That includes loving you or making this baby. He doesn't always do the conventional thing, but he always tries to do the right thing. And this is going to be no different. You still... Snore. What are you doing here? Well, at the moment, I'm acting as your very own warm little pillow. Oh. Well, you're a very rude pillow. I do not snore. My mistake. Don't try having a five-pound baby crowd your insides while you're sleeping. You never get any rest. And somebody wakes you up with a wisecrack. I won't do it again. Oh, yes, you will. No, I won't. Yes, you will. I said I won't. Oh, you will. You always do. I'm mending my ways. Why? 
But why do you think? Hello in there, kid. Kid says hello back. <laughs> We've only got two more hours till we get home to Port Charles. Port Charles? Yeah, we're going back home, remember? Hello. Oh, right. Yeah. You know, Max is going to love those little rag dolls I bought for her. Listen, I've been meaning to talk to you about something. When the baby's born, I think we ought to get a bigger place, especially if it's a boy. I mean, Maxie's not going to want to share a bedroom with a, a bratty little brother, right? I mean, especially if he's anything like me, because Maxie is exactly like you, which means he'll probably fight like cats and dogs, but love every minute of it. Either way, I just can't wait. Me either. Oh, well, come on, put your head down. You go back to sleep. Don't worry. I'll take care of everything. Alicia. Sorry, uh, do you have your seatbelt on under your, under your blanket there? Yes. Oh, okay, good. Go back to sleep. Sorry. Is it? We're going to be landing soon. I didn't want to wake you up because it seems like you're finally getting the rest you wanted. What rest? The baby's been kicking up the storm. I think he hates flying. And I've been having a little minor anxiety attack of my own. Really? There's one thing sitting in the outback imagining finding Frisco. It's another thing altogether making your final descent into Cairo. And when did this change of heart occur? began over Greenland. And then it got worse as we were going into Athens. While you were looking at the Acropolis with bliss, I was having that minor anxiety attack. Alicia. No, 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 it's okay. I'm not having a change of heart. I know it's something that I have to do. But it doesn't mean I can't be a little nervous about it. And then once the plane took off, there was no turning back. What are you looking for? I don't know. Pyramids or the Sphinx. Sorry, wrong end to Cairo. I wish this plane would hurry up and land. This has got to be the longest flight in the history of air travel. No doubt about it. I do have a plan, though. We check into the hotel, we drop our bags, we start looking for our contact right away. Well, he's down there somewhere. Well, it's a big city. We don't exactly blend into the woodwork here. I just hope Sean got a hold of him. What? 
Well, we left in such a hurry that Sean was still trying to reach him to let him know that we were coming. I just hope that he got through. Well, that puts it back in the ballpark for us there. What do you know about this guy, Rakeem? Well, that he was very distinctive. Here. Do you have a picture or something? Okay. Well, this guy shouldn't be hard to find. You're really into this, aren't you? Yeah, he's from the Indiana. I mean, he's got a, he's got a black robe on and a fez like that, and he's... Excuse me. Hi. Are you Rakeem? Who wants to know? Uh, I'm, uh, Dr. Tony Jones. Frisco's brother? Felicia's his wife? His wife. Go away before I do you some damage. Obviously, Sean didn't give a word to me. Sean Donnelly. He used to be head of the Bureau. Why else would we come looking for you? Maybe you want to look at my pretty face. No, I don't think so. Not that we don't think you're not pretty. I, I mean, handsome. It's just that Sean was supposed to call you and let you know that we were coming. You're our only connection to Frisco. Is that so? I'm his brother. I mean, I, I can tell you stories about when we were kids. He, he has a birthmark on his right thigh. Left thigh. Left thigh. Tell me when I'm supposed to be impressed. Excuse me. If we wait for this guy to come around, you're going to be giving birth at the bazaar. So, uh, thank you for all your help. We're going to go look for Frisco ourselves. Tony. Just have a little faith. We can do this without this guy. Faith. Right, we can do this. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Nobody moves. Cairo is an ancient and complicated city with many twists and turns and back alleyways that take you nowhere. People have been known to get lost permanently. This is just great. So you won't take us to Frisco, but you won't let us look for him either. Can we have a third choice, Jafar? Pull your hand out. Very, very slow. Don't be ridiculous. I don't carry a weapon. If you know Frisco, you know that this is his daughter. See? She looks just like me. And you'll also know that he came home in the spring because she came this close to dying. She was very sick. All she wanted was for him to just to come home. Go ahead, take it. What you don't know, because he doesn't know either, is that while he was home, well, things happened and now I'm pregnant. But the problem is he has a life of his own. And I kept telling everybody I didn't need to tell him, but they didn't seem to think so, and Mac didn't think so either, so I just went back and forth and back and forth, and Mac didn't know what to do. And then Lily and Miguel, well, they had a baby, too. They found out they had a baby, and Miguel was so surprised he didn't know about it. And when I saw how hurt he was, then I realized, well, Felicia, you must tell him. You've got to tell him. And everybody thought I was nuts because wanted, I wanted to come here and tell him. But then Tony insisted, which makes perfect sense because Tony is Frisco's brother, the uncle of this baby. So here we are. We're here, and you're there, and nobody's really doing anything. So would you like to contribute to this, or should we just stand here in your shadow and just wither away? Frisco has this same picture of Maxie. He also told me it took you more words to say something than anyone he ever knew. Welcome to Cairo. Thank you. 